come here. <gasps> Take Mimi out. <laughs> Where are we going today? The Christmas market. <gasps> Christmas market. What are we going to do at the Christmas market? Um, I don't know. You just told me. Yeah, yeah, pancake. <gasps> are we going to get a pancake, a crepe? Yeah. Um, what pancake. else? What are we going to drink? Juice. No. <laughs> At the Christmas market, we're going to drink some hot chocolate. Oh my goodness, you excited? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> and welcome to my channel. My name's Nicole, if you're new here. I haven't done a video in such a long time. Things have been pretty crazy with our um, new home and moving in and things like that. Work has been pretty stressful. Life has gotten in the way. So I haven't really been filming for a while. I think I really just needed to put my family and life and things like that. I just needed to yeah, have a bit of a break. It's now December and I really wanted to make sure that I was picking up the camera to make some more Christmas memories. So yeah, it's been a while. I don't think I've picked up the camera since September. It's been a while. I feel very, very rusty. Yeah, I really wanted to make sure that we were filming these memories for Christmas. I've got Nina in the back. You can probably hear Didier and my husband Matt out there causing chaos so yeah we have just arrived in bath so we're just we've just parked and we are about to head into bath for the christmas market didier wants crepes and hot chocolate and yeah i'm hoping that they've got a raclette store so yeah i thought i'd take you with us did not finish my vlog yesterday it was such a big fat fail um we arrived in bath and i think that's the last time i even spoke to the camera it took us probably about 20 minutes to find a car park a space i wish we'd done the park and ride um my husband just wanted to get in there and just be able to walk around and go home when we wanted to um it was just a hot mess it was the whole day it was just a write-off and it was so frustrating because we just traveled like an hour and a half down to Bath. We could, you couldn't walk the streets. I've never been to such a manic Christmas market before. Um, me and Matt have done quite a few in the UK and we've never done Bath before. But now we live like nearby. So we, yeah, we drove this year, um, but we've never been since we've moved down to the Cotswolds due to the pandemic. So, I, and I, I've got a feeling that this is the first year that it actually opened since the pandemic. So I think that's why it was a little bit crazy. I don't know if that's true, but it felt like it. Like I, I had the pram. Nina was really tired because she didn't sleep in the car on the way down. And yeah, it was just a write off. It was so manic. We could, I just got really like claustrophobic. I had people pressing in on me on all sides. Um, trying to push the pram in the cobblestone streets. The pram was getting stuck. People were, were just like tripping over the pram. People were kicking me in the back of the feet. And we were just there to wander and eat food. Um, and I was just like, I can't do this, I can't do this. And then when we were like, right, let's go and find a cafe, everywhere it was full, like not even in the high streets, like even in the little like cafes and the surrounding like streets were packed. Um, and then halfway through that, Diz was like, I need a way, I need a way, I need a way. And I forgot to bring the potty, like the travel portable potty. So we ended up going to Mark Spencer's and 
We had to queue for 40 minutes for my child to go for a pee. It was carnage. It was absolute carnage. And then we were like, right, let's go and find some dinner. We went to about five restaurants. We went to Yo Sushi, we went to Nando's, we went to Giraffe. All of them were like an hour plus wait. I've never known anything like it. So I was like, let's go home. Let's just get in the car and go home. I can't bear to be here anymore. So we got home and uh, on the way home, we passed the range and we were like, do you know what? Let's just go and get a Christmas tree. So we bought a Christmas tree. Um, it's taken a while for all the branches to drop. So we left overnight and we are going to go and decorate that today. But first of all, we've just got ready. We're going to go to a place called the Caribou Cafe, which is a part of a Smart Trees organisation up in Pershaw. Um, it's a really nice little like, town. And yeah, uh, I think there's like a Santa's Grotto. So I don't know if we can get tickets for that yet, but I'm really excited to take the kids. But yeah, I'll, I'll go and show you the Christmas tree now. I feel really rusty. I've not done this in a very long time. <laughs> so I apologise for rambling. But yeah, I just wanted to share that yesterday was a massive fail. And hopefully, fingers crossed, today's going to be a bit smoother. Here's hoping. <laughs>
and we are back in the car. We have just arrived at one of our local farm shops and we're gonna go and have some dinner, just a little bit of lunch, some coffee to warm up. We've just been to the Smart Trees farm yeah. and it was amazing. I'd, oh, it was so lovely. Um, it was very, very cold. The kids didn't have gloves and towards the end, we were just like, we, we, need, to, we need to go get food. Um, but it was really magical. The kids saw Father Christmas. We saw and fed reindeers. Um, like the kids got little presents and we've got like a little photo bauble with Father Christmas. It was such a lovely place. And yet yeah, now um, my husband is staring at me because he wants to go and get some food at the farm shop. So yeah, what such a nice day. Mm -hmm. 